You heard Ann mention the uh, two events that occurred in January and this past last summer. As a result, there was significant damage that was caused or inflicted to a lot of the trees. But through the collaborative effort that we had with Tree Fredericksburg and our Public Works Department and Parks and Recreation Events Departments, we were able to identify and address a number of different issues of trees that we had to take care of. The situation, though, is also a little bit higher. Oh, man. All right. All right. So hopefully you can hear me now. But through that collaborative effort, you know, we're still working on it. You know, right now we have crews that are in the canal removing trees that have fallen. So hopefully we're almost done with that. But certainly first and foremost, the effort to replant those trees and restabilize what we lost through those two events is very important. But we also have continued plans for expansion of doing what we're doing as, uh, as far as planting trees. Um, a couple of weeks, a uh, couple of things, a project that we're working on right now with Tree Fredericksburg, through Carl's spreadsheet, and I, I will say I was impressed by the amount of detail that he had in that spreadsheet. We're developing uh, through our software, our geographical information system, that we're going to be able to locate all of those trees that were planted since he's been maintaining records. And Carl, it's like, oh, I'm just going to say thousands. <laughs> <laughs> it, but it's it's thousand trees, and we're going to have the information to ten, uh, pertaining to where they're planted, what type of species, and other information associated with. And that's going to be a record that we're going to be able to keep and utilize for long into the future as well.